Over the next seven days, we will be traveling to some of the best fisheries in the state of Michigan in pursuit of giant smallmouth bass. Join us as we embark on this journey battling tough conditions. Things could get a little wild overnight. And unfamiliar waters. Welcome to Northern Gold. There we go. Oh my gosh. We got that giant. back ladies and gentlemen I believe it is day number four not totally sure there things are starting to uh, kind of all tie together just because we've had um, some crummy weather yesterday was somewhat of a rain day we got out for a few hours um, wasn't very good the fishing was pretty bad to be honest um, but today is a new day it's still bright and early and uh, we are on our way further north to fish some new lakes that we have not been to yet this year I'm excited we will catch you guys at the boat launch Okay guys, welcome back. We are uh, finally out on a lake that we've been gunning to get out on for the entirety of the trip. We just kind of had to monitor the weather and the wind and the conditions and kind of cherry pick a day because it's a big lake in Northern Michigan. So it gets rough in a hurry with just even a little bit of wind. So today looks like that day. And as you can tell, we finally got the sun out. It's a beautiful thing. We've been missing it the last few days. And I think the smallmouth have as well. The water temp is 44 and a half degrees right now. So it's still pretty chilly, but I think as that sun warms up this water, it'll start to activate these fish a little bit more and we'll hopefully have a little bit more success. Um, this lake is definitely a big fish factory. Um, I don't really expect to get a lot of bites when fishing this lake, but if you do get bit, it's probably going to be a pretty good one. And there's always a chance for a really big giant fish of a lifetime. So All right, guys, we're starting the day off here. We're going to cruise around these flats and spin back and fish over some of the uh, sand to grass transitions. We found some like different bottom compositions. We're gonna go and target those areas and see if there's any fish on them. We're working with, these front grass are saying 48 degrees, but I, that's definitely dropping. Oh, it's a trout. Oh my gosh, it's a giant trout. Yo, what? It's a giant rainbow. What in the world? Did you see that thing take off? Yeah, he was human. <laughs> what in the world? Lamprey on him. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, look, he broke someone else off. It's a hen, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the other hook right in there. Spawned out for sure. Dude, that is so cool. Okay, well, this dude is a little beat up and uh, quite frankly, very delicious. So we're gonna take him home and actually eat him up. It was cool. I was looking on live scope and I actually saw a fish right on the bottom. I said something to Drake and right as I said that, he came up and smoked that little swim bait. So it's probably like a six or seven pounder. It's a big fish for sure. He had two really cool jumps, hopefully that were uh, captured on film, but I'm not totally sure. We're gonna get him in the well. I 
Okay, so we don't know if that fish was a rainbow or a steelhead. I'm like 95% sure it was a steelhead. Both are in season, so. But that's what he came off of right there. That four inch little easy shiner. I saw him on live scope and then, like as I was telling Drake that I saw a big fish on the bottom, he thumped it and immediately came up and skyrocketed. That was really cool. So we also were like fishing for a wolf pack smallmouth at the same time. So we're getting into some more action here. Hopefully we can put some brown ones in the boat here. There's one. Yes. I look trouty. Yep, another trout. Trouty. No way, dude. What? Another rainbow. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, more dinner. He drilled it too. Oh, is that a brown? Oh no. Oh, is it? That is a brown. Yeah. What's going Looks on like today? Looks like we got ourselves some dinner. He ate that Okashira head, huh? As soon as he started just flashing oh, gold yeah. like that. Well, maybe you and I should just give up small mouth fish. No kidding. Oh, you think one might live there? Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah, I do. No way. <laughs> Big trout. Dude. <laughs> we literally made, made the same cast. That's why I was like, think one might live there. <laughs> Rainbow? I don't know. Oh my, big brown. brown. It's a giant brown. Try to get him out from under. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, that's a big one. We always say when we cast in the same spot as each other accidentally, we're always like, oh, it looked like a good spot as a joke. And I mean the exact same spot. And somehow you hooked up and just, <laughs> yeah, it does look like a good spot. That's so funny. Dude, that's a stud brown. Like that thing is fat. What a stupid, dumb thing we're into right now. I'd like to catch a smallmouth, but like. I'm not mad. I'm not mad about <laughs> it. Yeah, it doesn't suck. So here's a look at the two big ones. We got one more little brown in there as well. We're gonna be eating good tonight for sure. That's the biggest brown I've ever seen. I'm like 95% sure this one's a steelhead, but I'm no expert at all. But With how blue he's getting on the top, he makes me think he's a steelhead. Yeah. They're both like, they're pretty similar size. Like yeah. yours is a little fatter, mine's a little bit longer, but two awesome fish. We're not expecting to catch either of these fish at all today. I've seen them cruising these flats before, but never hooked into any in this lake, but really cool. I guess we know we just gotta, oh, there we go. Come on, little. Walleye, walleye, get the net. He's a keeper. Dude, what in the world is going on today? Talk about eating good tonight. <laughs> so we can't catch a smallmouth. That's basically the summary of today. That's like a perfect eater, like a nice 18 incher. Delicious. Yeah, fatty too. Looks like this break's starting to get harder before it was much more of like a slow taper out. And now it's getting to this hard defined line right here. And I think this might be um, what these fish are more sitting on. It sure seems to be at least. We're starting to mark more fish and just got three bites within the first like 100, 150 yard stretch. So hoping to get some smallmouth in the boat. I already see another one down there on live scope. So we're gonna get after it. That looks like a trout. Got high in the water column like that. On? Yes. Small off? No way. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world, dude? Well, the feast continues. Eat that's that all, extra good. Tonight. That's all I'll say. We're <laughs> eating good tonight. I don't really understand this, but I guess I'm not going to complain. Welcome back. We are just finishing eating up these walleye here. Um, not too shabby at all, but uh, that was a very interesting day to say the least. We ended up landing uh, three walleye, one big steelhead that went 26 inches, was it? 27. 27 inches. The big brown went 24, and the big brown weighed six and a half pounds, and the steelhead weighed just over seven pounds. So 
Pretty big fish. I don't really know like what caliber of fish that is because I'm no trout fisherman. Yeah, very interesting day. We didn't even end up boating a single smallmouth, which is pretty pathetic, but we were kept busy with a bunch of other species. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, they tasted pretty awesome, not gonna lie. And uh, we have a lot of leftovers for the rest of the trip. So we're gonna get the cards cleared, uh, batteries charged up and uh, ready for another long day tomorrow. We are going um, back north tomorrow again, chasing some big smallmouth um, at one lake. We're gonna give that a little bit in the morning. And if that doesn't work, we're sliding over to another lake. The weather looks good again tomorrow. Real quick. Um, don't know if you guys have seen this, if you're following my Instagram or not, but these are some shirts that I made uh, two years ago now or whatever. We have a few left, so if you're looking to cop some, definitely go check them out. This is one of the three styles. There's two other styles, um, but this is a pretty cool one. Don't eat bass, so you can rep that at the boat launch for all the local boomers that are keeping every bass that they can. So if you want to pick up any of these shirts, um, DM me. My Instagram handle is Real Obsession Fishing. So. Side into the DMs and I can definitely get you hooked up with that. Um, I also am working on getting another order in of merchandise, but this time I think I'm gonna run hats. Looking forward to the next video, should be a fun one. I will catch you guys then.